Good afternoon everyone, I'm Gary Martin and today I'm up in the studio with Graham where we're going to be playing some golf at Royal Birkdale but we've got a really important subject to, to touch on really, one that you know I think could be very relatable to you guys and you know it's a mental it's a mental condition that three in ten people have, don't they? Yeah, it's quite alarming actually. It's quite alarming and a lot of people don't know they've got it. Yeah, it's the most underdiagnosed mental health condition that's on the spectrum in the UK that um, people just don't know are aware that they've got it and they might even have it. They might, you might have it guys and what we're going to talk about before we tee off, we've just got two minutes of your time before we tee off and we're just going to talk about some of the symptoms. We just need to set the time. Yeah, we're going to set the time because one of the symptoms is, is that you can actually get off, you can be, you can get you off the point tangent, yeah. and you could spend half an hour and then forget what the actual and question on, was. So and, we've got and over talking as well. And over talking. <laughs> and do you know what guys, I'm starting to think I might actually have this. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about some of the symptoms. What were the key symptoms that, you know, because you watched a video online, didn't you? Yeah, that, that, that and, cell. And, and what's her name again? It's Jessica McCabe. She's Jessica, Jessica McCabe. Uh, and she did uh, a TED Talks. Uh, and you can find that, that, that video online. It's fantastic. I'll, I'll tag that video, guys. Yeah. But it, some of them points you said, God, this is me. Like, and you like, kind of discovered that yeah. you've got you know, this, this mental condition because of that. Yeah. But yeah. What were it that, that kind of you relate to? Well, the, the, you know, the reason why this really came about, you know, I've just been through a recent difficult stage in my life and, uh, and a failed relationship and, and, and that's obviously really been a tough thing to take. Yeah. Uh, and especially on the back of COVID and one thing and other, it's been a really, really tough time in my life, but you know, I'm getting out of the other side now. Well, um, so that, that was the first sort of indication. See, I'm yeah. putting myself back online here, yeah. making sure that I'm not... I'm, <laughs> You're using what you, you know... You, yeah, I'm trying to use the coping mechanism yeah. that, that I've got, because if not, I'll go for a tangent. Um, and I'll be impulsive, because, um, you know, I, I was diagnosed with ADHD at, at 53. Yeah. Um, so after watching Jessica McCabe's video, uh, I thought, that's me. Yeah. That is me. She's explaining lots of these symptoms. Uh, impulsivity, um, struggling with the relationships, um, poor planning, um, trouble maintaining relationships in terms of not just uh, intimate relationships but platonic relationships as well, uh, which is obviously the big driver for me. Uh, and, and I obviously wanted to understand myself a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and you know, getting this diagnosis. Um, uh, has helped me put the glasses on, if you like. Yeah. I, you know, the lens has refocused my life. You now. understand yourself a bit yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. And has that made you a bit more tolerant with yourself in a way? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm completely accepting of myself now. Yeah. Uh, whereas I'd be worried about what people thought. Yeah. Um, and now I know that all the circumstances and, and uh, life issues that I've lived with all my life as you know i'm not saying all of them but a good chunk of them have, have been down to this mental health condition of adhd you, you mentioned one of the main points of this is concentration and that you have to be instantly you have to be stimulated all the time so guys if you're starting to get bored of this conversation you know you need to stick with it because you could have this yeah you know, I'm, I'm sure there'll be some people out there who relate to some of these symptoms and might be a bit shy of taking it any further but you know from having conversations with graham i think you know by actually having it diagnosed and starting to understand yourself better, it's vital, isn't it? It is, um, and I think the best place for me you know, to answer that and, and to start and to hopefully help subscribe. you know, subscribers out there and anybody else who's watching your channel. Remember, there's three out of ten people that's got this, yeah. so there's going to be somebody watching this who's got it, there's no doubt. Well, I'm sure that, you know, Fix the Golf Club, yeah. you know, it's Golf Club where we're at now, there's over 600 members. Yeah. So, I mean, my, my immediate maths isn't that good, but there will definitely be yeah. people within this golf club that have got it. Definitely. Um, I mean, there's, there's lots of famous people that's got it, and I, I'm going to pull myself back no, on no, no, again. No, no, I think, no, I think, no, that's one of the things, but I think you're yeah, actually, let's go into it. Let's name right. these famous people. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's famous people from the business world that yeah. have, have uh, been and had successful lives uh, through. You know, through adversity and obviously having ADHD, 
you know, Richard Branson. Yeah. He, he you know, he, he I didn't well know this, known. by the way. Yeah, but if you Google it, Richard Branson's got ADHD. Yeah. Bill Gates, he's another one. He's got an ADHD. Um, from entertainment, Rory Brenner. Yeah. Um, Justin Timberlake's got it. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, the world of sport. Now, I, I, I did a bit of Googling and, and, and I couldn't actually find a golfer. Yeah. But if you think, I, I mean, I don't know how many professional golfers they but are. But that might be that they're not diagnosed. They, they might be they're not diagnosed. Yeah. But because golf is very structured in the way that we can play each hole and each yeah. shot, you know, I would it's guess not some got, it, as lend, no, it lends it, you know, ADHD, yeah. you know, and, and, and if anybody who's thinking about taking up golf and have got ADHD, I'd all heartedly encourage you to do that, yeah. get into golf. It's definitely something we need to try and share, you know, if you've yeah. got friends or family with ADHD that might enjoy sport, is have they tried golf? Yeah, because it does help that focus, Yeah, it does help your practice focus, and, you know, I'm remembering the first question now, which is not yeah. what I'm used to doing because I've gone off at a tangent and told you about famous people. Was great. Yeah. But you were talking about how people can sort of get help. So I think the best thing, and you know, it's it's up to you to do your own research for sure. But I'll share you my journey. Yeah. Uh, and my journey um, after my diagnosis uh, by Dr. Social Robinson, based in all. Um, I uh, I researched and went on to ADHD UK. Yeah. And I looked for a, an ADHD coach. So the coach is getting coached. Yeah. Uh, and I, I found this fantastic coach. Uh, she's based not too far from me at Tadcaster, uh, called Natasha Hicklin. Yeah. And she's fantastic. And we'll share you those, share those links on for Natasha as well if yeah. anybody has got ADHD and wants some help. And I'm getting coaching. Is uh, this something that you could do online? Yeah, I, I, so you don't I, need to touch a seat. Yeah, I mean, initially, um, I've had, I mean, sort of five, I had five sessions. I had one yesterday morning, uh, but it was it was weekly. I've now gone gone on to fortnightly. Yeah, uh, and she'll work within whatever you want. You yeah, know, if you want weekly sessions, weekly sessions, monthly, whatever you want, uh, and, and she'll you know she'll work. She tries to make it affordable for people yeah. because there's lots of people that that won't necessarily have the money to be able to afford. Yeah to pay for coaching, yeah. but she coaches children and adults but and if teenagers. But if you're going through this process and you know, you, you're having some continuity in coaching, you're obviously seeing a value in it because yeah, you definitely. are a coach yourself, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, and, and I suppose you must be seeing some, not, I don't know if improvement's the right word, but there's obviously some benefits as coaching. Yeah, I mean, I'm very, very self-aware. Yeah. And, and that, you know, with any any coaching, I mean, we've talked about this yesterday, yeah. because, you know, when, you, when you're coaching people through golf, golf. Um, there's got to be a, a, a level of self-awareness that's got to be raised, haven't yeah. Because how can you remedy what you don't know? Exactly. And obviously I've had the self-awareness through the diagnosis and then yeah. I'm learning more and more by having this coaching. Now, there is another route to, to, to um, helping people with ADHD, which is medication. Yeah. Um, I've not chosen to go down that route because I'm not really a big believer in medication. Yeah. Um, Do you think I, that's almost like covering the problem rather than well, facing it. Yeah, but it just depends who you are as a person, doesn't it? Yeah. And whether you can, and yeah, I suppose you can call it masking it. I mean, I've, I've had some dark periods of my life recently, and uh, yeah, I'm not afraid to say I, I've, I've been on some prescribed medication. Yeah. You know, and did it, did it cons help a little cons bit? Cons and I'm just actually weaning myself off it now, yeah. because life's taken a little bit more of a normal yeah. day by day. Uh, and yeah, and that definitely helped, and, yeah. and it can help. It's nice to know, isn't it? Yeah, it is nice to know, but ultimately, you've got to remedy the problem. Yeah. Um, now, ADHD, I'll always have it. I've had it since I've been born. Yeah. I've not known that. I've had it since I've been born. Um, I think, and it's genetic. I think. Know. I think what I liked about you know what you said when I did the conversation off camera is that it's helped you look back at your past and understand a lot of decisions and things you've done better, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, it has. A, a, as a kid, as a young adult, you can understand now, you yeah, path a little bit more in your journey, can't you? Yeah, because through the behaviours that ADHD has sort of forced me to, to deal with, you know, how, how they've manifested themselves. Yeah. Uh, you know, people's perception of, of me might be, you know, he's not a really nice person. Yeah. And, and I know that I am a nice person, I know that I'm a good guy, so. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, th that, that's what it's helped me realise that, uh, you know, 
I'm not all, I'm not all wrong. So, so we've obviously, you know, we've got somebody that's kind of like myself that sort of you've, you've put, picked up on that you might have a few of these little symptoms. Is it is it a matter of booking an appointment at a doctor's and is that your first step? Well, like I said earlier on, um, you know, the first step is to get booked through your doctor's. And how did you, how did the doctor receive that? Did they think you were crackers or not at all? No, not at all. No, I mean, the, the, you know, the trend to listen out. Yeah. Um, so they took it very seriously and then to judge, and they're not, you know, your, your, your general GP will not be able to decide whether you've got it or not. No. And your normal GP. They're not qualified to administer drugs. That, I mean, because the drugs that yeah. do uh, um, deal with ADHD uh, are classed as psychotic drugs. Yeah. Uh, one of the main drugs is a, a drug called Ritalin, uh, and that's another reason why I didn't want to want to take it because I want to be me. I want to I want to feel to be me. I think you know, and I've realised that a, a drug that helps support mental health. It, it, you know who you are, you know no. who you are, and I want to be authentic and true to myself. So, um, so they just refer you basically. So they just refer me, but you know, and like I said, it, it, was, it was two years. But did the specialist kind of like know pretty much straight away? Straight away. To you? Straight really? away. As you can tell now in this last yeah. interaction, I've yeah. gone on and on and on and on. And that is quite. I've got to admit, and I'll say this, and I hope you're not offended by this, but I've known Graham for probably two years as a member, and I've never ever picked up on anything because we've only ever had brief engagements, haven't we? A bit of chit chat, you know, signing to competitions, a bit of a joke, a bit of, you know, a bit of lads banter. Yeah. But I guess I've been spent a bit more of one to one time with you, I probably have picked up on it a bit more. Yeah. But. But I'm but I'm tolerant to it because I I know you know there's nothing yeah. you can do about it. It's who you are as a person. But you're getting an education now, aren't you? Yeah, but I'm learning. Is, and you and you're more self-aware. Yeah. So you know you might spot it in other people. I don't know. But, but, but you're imagine, not trained to spot imagine it. me working here every day and having this closeness to you. I could almost get a bit maybe annoyed if I didn't know. Perhaps so. Yeah. And, and that's where I think everybody's got to understand what ADHD is. Yeah. And and, and you know. Understand its benefits as well yeah. as, as, as anything that could be negative. And if you you know if there's any employers of yeah. people with ADHD um, that's out there, um, I'm looking at setting up an ADHD business group. Yeah. Um, for ADHD business owners or people that are employing people with ADHD, and some more support there for, for, for employers because you can go on the ADHD UK website. Yeah. And there's a welfare pack for employers. So it, it will educate you to understand. I the think it's viral. I think if you're employing people, and you know that you've got somebody who might not be a diagnosed, or they might be, and you don't understand them, like I'm learning a bit about you, yeah. and I'm learning a bit about you've got to you've got to know about it, haven't you? Yeah. You can't you have, have someone in your team and yeah. not look after them or not be aware of what they're going through. You've got yeah. to understand them a bit, haven't you? Yeah, you have. You have, and there's not. You know, I'm a big um, user of LinkedIn. Um, which is obviously a business forum, business yeah. social network, and there's lots of groups on there that talk about ADHD, neurodiversity, which is really coming to the fore now, which is great, and obviously, I'm obviously going to become more passionate about it because I've yeah. just learned about my diagnosis. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that's just a positive thing, and, and I want to be part of that positive message. I don't want to, be, for, you know, I could say in the past that it was an excuse, but yeah. was it an excuse because I didn't know I had it? Yeah. But now I want it to. Be, there's no excuse now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to learn to deal with it. I'm going to, you know, and sometimes I might go off the rails a little yeah. bit in terms of managing it. But the more self awareness I've got, the more yeah. learning I've got, and if I can help somebody else, you know. I think the only reason you've off the rails a little bit is because you're so passionate about something. Yeah. You know, I think if it were a subject that you weren't that passionate about, you probably wouldn't deviate too much from question. But I think, I think the more passionate you are about something, I can see you want to share everything. You want to share it all. Like, yeah. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing, is it? You yeah. know, that could yeah. be a hell of a strength. Yeah. You know, for, 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 for especially in your role, like you said, in coaching, yeah. because. If you've got someone in front of you, you're obviously passionate about your job, yeah. and you'll you don't you, you don't miss a point, do you? No. You cover all ends. So I, I think try, that's yeah. I try I try to. Um, I am a passionate guy about what I do. Yeah, um, and that and that's important. If I don't believe in what I'm doing, you know, I I do it. For, I do my job for people's benefit. You know, yeah. the money is the byproduct, and I love what I do. 
Um, so, you know, and if I can help somebody with ADHD or, or families or business owners or whatever by sharing my story and they're watching yeah. this channel now, that's fantastic. We've got to get it out there. We've got to let people know about it. I, I think this could be one of a few videos. I think, I think today is just a, a point of just raising awareness that, you know, adults can have ADHD and not know they've got it. Exactly. That's the main point. The second point is that, you know, obviously if any of these symptoms are related to you, is what to do next is yeah. you know you, you don't scare the other doctors they, they, they will just refer you to a specialist and and you know they'll be quite honest what and open with you about yeah. it won't they and you know lead you down the right path yeah and get 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 you to where graham is today where it sounds like you understand yourself a lot better and you know you're so passionate about it all yeah. there and up know, to this point it's right to help other people yeah. up to this point it's been hard living in my head it really yeah. has because you, you just overthink things all the time and everything just takes a little bit more effort than what a neurotypical brain would have. Yeah. Um, so, but again, this is not going to be an excuse. Yeah. Going forward, I'm going to make a positive out of this and, uh, and, and lead what's left of my life successfully as best I can. I think what we'll do, guys, we'll get this video out there, obviously get in the comments if you feel like any of these symptoms, you know, obviously relate to yourself. Get in the comments if you've got you know, children or, you know, si you know, friends or family, siblings that, that might have, you know, ADHD. And let's see, you know, how much awareness there is around it. Um, and then from the comments, I guess that'll direct us where we go next, you know, and, and how we can help you guys. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it's been a great subject to touch yeah. on. And uh, as I say, I, you know, I thank you for sort of being so open about it. And, yeah. you know, by doing that, hopefully, even if we only, re you know, meet, you know, help one or two people, it don't matter, does it? Yeah, I mean, I put a post out on LinkedIn a couple of weeks back and um, somebody contacted me from my past. Yeah. Uh, and he said, great post, fantastic, loved it. Um, I've, just re I've just had the diagnosis that my son's got it. Yeah. Do you mind having a chat? And I thought, great, bingo. I've, yeah. helped, I've helped one person. Yeah. And if I help one person, you know, from one post, yeah. it's a winning it. It's one, one more person that's getting more awareness, yeah. understanding it helping his son and, and, and managing a, a, a condition yeah. where that lad hopefully will live a really successful life yeah. as a consequence of me sharing my story. Exactly, you know, like obviously understand yourself a lot sooner, so you haven't got to go through all his life, not yeah. understanding, yeah? yeah, fantastic. So, yeah. Anyway so, guys, you need to buy me that pint. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go and have a pint guys, and obviously, you know, I hope you've enjoyed that video, do get in comments, give us some feedback. And uh, you know, don't be shy, be open as you know, and be a big man because that's what it takes. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe it does. Um, and you know, hopefully we'll we'll see you again soon. Yeah. Cheers guys. Bye. Cheers.